Good morning, everyone, and welcome to ND Sunrise. This is the review of the Keenan Review. That's right, we've got a big game in Sin City. Plot twist, I am the Grim Reaper. Overall, this year's event was a rousing success. Good morning, and welcome to the last ND Sunrise episode of the 2023-2024 school year. I'm Elise Dahoney. And I'm Megan O'Keefe. We have a great show lined up today to send Elise and our other class of 2024 seniors out on a high note. Fertz, let's kick it over to Jake Irons for a weather update. Jake? Thanks so much, Elise and Megan. Let's get you caught up on what's going to happen meteorologically for the next seven days. We'll start at 62 degrees today. A little bit of a jacket weather, but it will start to come in with a low front barreling into the Midwest and Northwest Indiana as we start dropping to 56 on your Friday. Then for Blue Gold Weekend, you might want to grab a coat and maybe a little even an extra sweatshirt as we'll get a high of 49, a low of 37. Don't put away those winter coats just yet as we're going to start barreling back up into the temperatures. We increase to 52 on Sunday, come up to 61 on Monday, but then ultimately raincoats will have to be in play on Tuesday as around a 60% chance of a storm coming in from California out here to the Midwest to impact everyone's Tuesday. Hasn't been deemed a first alert day yet, should just be around an inch of rain. And then Wednesday, keep it in clouds with a little bit of sunshine. That is your seven day forecast. Elise and Megan, right back to you. Thank you, Jake. Some of my friends are actually sunburned from this last weekend because it was so sunny. So we it looks like we have more sun to look forward to, but we got to be safe. Speaking of things to look forward to, the ND football blue and gold game is this weekend. Our Shamrock Sports correspondents have everything you need to know. Throwing it to you guys now. Four men in blue blazers. It's John Bailey, it's Ben Rohr, and Jimmy Collins, and myself, Jacob Irons. We are so happy to bring you this blue gold preview as we get a slimmer of a glimpse at what could be coming here in the 2024 football season. We'll start with maybe the biggest position for this team heading into this new year, and it's the quarterback position. They go pick up Riley Leonard out of the portal, but there's a conversation to be had for one through four on this roster right now. We'll start with you, Mr. Bailey. Riley Leonard, what do you think? Injured so far so in this spring, does he play in the spring game? Is he reserved, and what do you feel about him coming into this 2024 season? You know, I don't think we'll see any of Riley Leonard in the spring game. They're going to want to be conservative with him and make sure that he's fully healthy when they take on Texas A&M week one. That's the priority, not a practice game in the spring. And in terms of his performance, I'm going to look to some wisdom from former president George W. Bush. You know, he's got a quote like this. I know there's a saying in Tennessee. I think it's in Texas. I know it's in Tennessee. It goes like, if you fool me once, you can't get fooled again. Notre Dame has gotten fooled before with these transfer quarterbacks. They got fooled with Jack Cohn, a man as stationary as his namesake, Traffic Cohn. They got <laughs> fooled with Sam Hartman. Yes, he's got jeans for good hair and a nice beard, but he doesn't have jeans for that athleticism, that speed to take off when the pocket crumbles and he's pressured. We're not going to get fooled again with Riley Leonard because he is going to be a star. He's going to be an early day two, if not first round draft pick in the NFL next season because he is an exceptional athlete and improviser. He can navigate the pocket well under pressure and he can just make plays come out of nowhere. He will thrive in this offense regardless of the talent you put around him because of his intangibles. And we're going to need that week one against AM with an inexperienced offensive line and he's going to be facing pressure from the Aggies. They're going to be at home. It's going to be loud. They're going to have pressure on the blitz. He's going to have to watch out from that interior. He's a little weaker on there, but anything around the corner on the edge, he's got that. He's going to make plays. He's a stud. Yeah, wow. he should be a very big stud. Ben Rohr, maybe we'll transition for you. Looking at the backup quarterback, the fight for QB2 right now is large. Yeah, absolutely. And I think what I would like to see happen is you give it to Angeli in the QB2 spot. And Jelly has done exactly what he has been tasked to do as the Notre Dame football quarterback. He has come in. These have not been in high-pressure situations, granted, but he's come in, and he's played fantastic football. Oregon State in the bowl. Great little showing there. All these games where he's had were up huge. No real, you know, important mistakes. Lots of touchdowns even. Like, he's, 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 he's shown that he can be productive in games against real defenses where these teams haven't given up, but we were not in a high-pressure situation. So I think if you give him a chance to you know, get his feet under him in a real game, 
I'd like to see what he can do because we know the talent is there, we know the skills are there, we know the technique is there because we've been seeing it in these practice types games where he's in. But if you give him a chance in a high pressure situation, I think he's got to be the QB2. Be the QB2? Jimmy Collins? Yeah, I think, you know, we all say at the beginning of every, every year, new year, new me. <laughs> okay. New, new year, year, new me. New year, new quarterback for Notre Dame. I think it's going to be tough because I really wish that Riley Leonard was going to be able to play in the spring game. And he's not, so yeah. we're going to get to see Angeli, Carr, and Minchie, which will be exciting because we will need to know what we have coming after. And we kind of already know what we have with Angeli, Carr, freshman. Yeah. So everyone loves him. But I think my only worry with uh, Riley Leonard is that this new offense that we're bringing in with our new OC yeah. and really throw the ball down the field is maybe that was the offense that we needed for Sam Hartman. Yeah. And like John said, that we got fooled by with Sam Hartman, but I really think if he had this offense, he would have been in an amazing spot, potentially a Heisman candidate last season. So that's my really my only worry there. Yeah, Mike Dembrock comes in for his time here at Notre Dame to be the next offensive coordinator for the Irish. Proves to be a very interesting conversation over the spring game as well as who will take over that position too, we have to imagine will be determined over the spring game at Blue Gold, but coaching staff has told us very openly in press conferences that it will not be decided until early August, that full depth chart. How will Nothing like spring football, and Megan, I am staunchly on Team Gold this year. Why? I look really good in gold. Fair enough. <laughs> We're now going to move on to events for the week. First, the shirt for the 2024-2025 football season will be unveiled tomorrow on Library Lawn at 6 p.m., but festivities will last from 4.30 p.m. to 6.30 p.m. Come join Marcus Freeman and some football players for a great celebration. Today, from 4 p.m. to 5 p.m., Maria Wayne Scott, a senior in the sports, media, and culture minor, and a sideline reporter will be interviewing Jack Swarbrick, athletic director emeritus, about the major changes in college sports that occurred during his tenure at Notre Dame and his proudest accomplishments as director of athletics. The event takes place in DeBartolo Hall, room 131. Finally, tonight from 8.30 p.m. to 10 p.m., graduating seniors can attend the Home After the Dome Student Fair in the Downers Club on the seventh floor of Corvette Family Hall. The event is an opportunity to meet hundreds of ND alumni from around the world. Now, in honor of the class of 2020, we, we'll edit that out. Now, in honor of the class of 2024, and this being the last ND Sunrise episode of our college career, uh, we wanted to take a stroll down memory lane and give a short recap of the biggest news stories over the last four years. So, in no particular order, do you remember when we were seniors in high school and we found out that we could actually come to campus and adopt something called the Here Campaign? Or when Zom was shut down? Or when we beat Clemson and rushed the field? Twice. Or when we had celebrity speakers on campus like Condoleezza Rice, Noah Kahn, Garth Brooks, Mike Pompeo. Or the drag show debate. Ooh. Or when Moz was shut down freshman year, which was kind of another oof. <laughs> or when Father Dowd was announced as next year's president. Or the chaos on campus when Amy Coney Barrett was appointed to the Supreme Court. Or the college Republicans versus college Democrats debate right here in the studio. I was the timekeeper for that, by the way. Or what about all the fencing championships and the lacrosse championship? Or all the new additions to campus like McKenna Hall, the Lou Holtz Reading Room, or the Dock by the Lake? Or when the bookstore dropped Lululemon merch. Or the fact that three of the four of the shirt designs during your college career were green. Or when we got that snow day. So much happened over the last four years and we're sad to see you go class of 2024, but excited to see what you'll accomplish. And on a personal note, I just want to say thank you Notre Dame and NDTV for the best four years I could have ever imagined. Coming to Notre Dame was the best decision I ever made for myself and I'm so grateful I walked into the NDTV studio during my freshman fall. There's so many people at NDTV who have impacted my college experience and my life, so I want to say thank you all so, so much. And uh, I'm going to miss Notre Dame and NDTV so much. Thank you, Elise, and all of our class of 2024 seniors for everything you have contributed to Notre Dame's campus. That's all we have for this final episode of ND Sunrise. Follow us on Instagram at Notre Dame Television and on YouTube at Notre Dame Television to see all our episodes and more NDTV content. And keep an eye out in your inbox next fall for an email from our recruiting team if you want to join NDTV for the 2024-2025 school year and take my spot.
Thank you so much for joining us today and all year long. I'm Megan O'Keefe. And I'm Elise Dahoney. Have a great day. And for the last time, go, go Irish. Irish.